been underground for 65 million years. There's a large dinosaur bone. So I'm gonna uncover it and see what it's looking like. Bit of a foggy morning out here in South Dakota in the Hill Creek Formation. First day out in the field. We'll see what we come across. A bit of a common misconception about paleontology field work is that you know, you sit down in one spot and dig. And that's only true if you've already found a site to dig on. But in order to find that site, you have to cover huge areas of ground without finding anything before you do. So I was walking along this little environmental change between the mudstone and the sandstone because that's where I like to find fossils a lot and I came across these pieces sitting out and they looked they looked pretty fresh especially this one so I came around over here and you can see there's a large dinosaur bone going back into the hillside there so I'm gonna uncover it and see what it's looking like. It's in really, really good condition. Just the very edge pieces were coming out. These are the pieces that were on the surface. So those had weathered out. And that's usually how you find a dinosaur bone is you find pieces that are kind of weathering down the hillside and you follow those back to where they might be going into the ground. The inner part of the bone here is very fragile and crumbly, but the exterior is pretty stable and it, the preservation is pretty incredible actually on this piece. I expect this bone to come back to maybe about here. And this is really soft sandstone, so it should be no problem to just, you can almost dig it with your hands to be honest. But I'm gonna first just clear an area around the bone. I'm trying not to go all the way down to the level but above it because I don't know what else is down there. This is like ideal conditions to find a bone like this because the matrix is so soft and the sand does a really really good job of preserving the bone. Whereas if you find it in mudstones or siltstones, it can often be kind of compressed or squished or have a lot of concretion around it. Crawl it back and see what it's looking like. Oh my God. Look at that. There's my new shadow. Let's just scoop out that loose sand. I'm gonna to try to go on either side of it, so I'm not stabbing right down toward the bone, you know. I might have to widen my hole on the back side here a little. And the sandstone will kind of split. If you come in at an angle like that, it'll kind of split right off the bone. I think this is Maybe hadrosaur, a trike, triceratops, uh, I think would be a little bit more robust, a little wider here, but I'm not 100% sure yet. underground for 65 million years and just those edges got exposed enough for for me to find it in this kind of condition it's pretty incredible right here you can see it 
it's not just the shaft and we're getting up toward the other end of that bone. Looks like it's a tibia, I believe. I think. It looks like this end is a little bit damaged, but damaged before fossilization. So I think that's about where it ends. Look at that. Wow. So this is about as far as I'm gonna expose this fossil today. Normally we would uh, you know, really, really take it out around the exterior here and excavate it more and then put a plaster jacket cap on to protect it so we can safely transport it. But today we are basically just out prospecting, looking for new sites. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue up the cracks here. a bunch of sand onto the fossil. And that should just about do it. <laughs> 